was born in Kawasaki City near Tokyo in Japan. Music was in our family and I always loved it. And I would listen to bluegrass, to jazz, to classical stuff. Yutaka is one of my brothers. He, uh, he bought a guitar and started singing country songs and I'm like, that's pretty cool. So I played his guitar while he was away. And a year later, he switched to bluegrass. I'm like, what is this? It was unique, quite different. But it caught my eye. My other brother, Josh, started playing banjo. So Yutaka was playing guitar, Josh was playing banjo, and they gave me a mandolin. I started a group in 1967. It's called Bluegrass 45. Bluegrass 45 was discovered by Dick Freeland, who owned Rebel Records. He heard us and he said, you want to tour the States? And we were like, oh yeah. When I heard John's and Country Gentleman's first album from Folkways, country song old and new, it just made sense to me. It's powerful, but emotional. And I just thought he was the greatest singer and great mainland player. And when I met him, he turned out to be a fine person. <laughs> Dick Phelan brought his whole family to Japan in 1970, including his son, 11-year-old Ronnie Phelan. And when I moved to the States in 73, I didn't have too many friends. So I used to hang out with Ronnie and used to go to International Bluegrass Music Association. And it's a annual get together. We went in uh, 2002 on the way home. Ronnie says, we got to do that album. What album? John Duffy tribute album. I, I told you that. Tribute album for John. No, you did not tell me that. I would love to do it, but you did not tell me. Yes, I did. No, you did not. Anyway, okay, let's do it. It was like a playing a fantasy baseball team. We are trying to get the best uh, fantasy team together for every single song. It took us a long time, but it's out and response so far has been so great. I mean, I'm so honored that they accepted me and honored to be on Folkways. <laughs>